Michael, you guys were up nine with about 52 seconds left. What were you thinking the, the final 50 seconds uh, when it got down to one possession multiple times? Um, I, I'm all for being in a giving mood, but let's not give this game away. And literally, uh, fourth quarter, eight turnovers, 12 points. In the last two minutes and 40 seconds, Mike, we had six turnovers, uncharacteristic turnovers. And, uh, and I think – um, obviously a couple of big plays. They made threes, a couple of breakdowns. We're not strong with the ball. They rip it out of our hands. They get a dunk. Uh, and some of the turnovers were egregious in nature. Um, but one thing, one thought comes to mind for me, and I'm not using any excuses. We held on for the win, which is great. Did not like the last three minutes that you alluded to. But I, Nicola, when has he ever made plays like that? This guy, I think, is second in the NBA in minutes played. I think he is physically and mentally exhausted. Faku played 36 minutes tonight, some of his turnovers late. Uh, we'll watch the film tomorrow. We'll learn from it. Uh, I, I think it's really important that you learn from your mistakes and you don't accept in victory what you wouldn't accept in defeat. So uh, the game should never have been that close. We all realize that, and we all have to be better. Harrison Wind. Hey, Michael, uh, Zion went for, I think it was 30 against you guys last time or in one of those previous games. Mm -hmm. uh, home to 21 tonight. What do you think of Aaron's defense on him and just kind of the defense behind Aaron on Zion tonight? Yeah, well, to your point, Harrison, compared to the first two games, uh, it was a huge improvement. Uh, I thought Aaron had some great possessions. I thought Paul Millsap had some great possessions. And not just those two guys, like I spoke about pregame, when you guard a guy that averages 20 points a game in the paint, it's, yes, one-on-one, -on -one, but the four guys behind that shrinking the floor, showing the crowd, and I thought we had good examples. In our two previous head-to-head -head matchups, he was averaging 23 paint points per game against the Nuggets out of Denver, Colorado. So he only had 21 points tonight, so he showed some improvement. Hooray. Ashley Neville. Hey, Coach, I'm curious in games that are um, so close like this down the stretch, how do you keep your composure? How do you stay relaxed? <laughs> like, how do you manage yeah. to, to do that? Well, I don't always do that, Ashley. And those that have been around these parts for the last six years probably have come to know my emotions fairly well. Um, but tonight was almost like beyond belief. I couldn't believe what I was witnessing. You know, we get a stop and where the clock is our friend and we throw it down the court and we shoot a three with 22 on the shot clock and we miss. And the turnover is throwing the ball out of bounds to nobody. Um, so yeah, it's hard. You know, that's life as a coach. You know, you have to be able to uh, try to be as even keeled as possible. That's definitely an area that I think I've grown because uh, if this happened six years ago, I might've might caught a heart attack. <laughs> Anyways. Brandon Christel. Coach, kind of back to you talking about the uncharacteristic turnovers. Do you beat your team up too much about this or knowing kind of the, you know, opponents you have on the horizon, you, you make sure that they know they were uncharacteristic and, and just kind of make sure they don't happen again, but move on, not dwell on it. Yeah, I, it's not beating up, you know, to your point. I think it's educating, though. I think, you know, the last two minutes and 40 seconds would be a great teaching segment. You know, to see all the things that we did wrong, not to beat them up, not to, what are you doing? It's, hey, we're in this situation again, time and score. We don't need a quick shot. Okay, we have to execute our inbounds play to make sure we get the ball inbounds. Uh, defensively, we can't give up threes. Uh, so I, I think every game is a learning opportunity. Film is a great teaching tool. Um, but to your point, we play tomorrow night against a team that absolutely blew our doors off down in Tampa Bay. So uh, you have to learn and move on to your next challenge, and that's the Toronto Raptors. Vinny Benedetto. Hey, Michael, I think Nicola scored 16 in the third quarter with Steven Adams out of the game, just one in the fourth. Do you feel like you guys need to do find a way to get him, I guess, more shots in that fourth quarter? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I know people always say, well, Nicola's got to shoot it more, but you know, if you just watch the game, there are times where they're literally throwing two guys at him, and you can hear the opposing coach, even before the balls dribble over half court, telling who's going to double team. So it's hard to score and shoot over a double team. 
And that's where you have to trust your teammates. And that's what Nicole does better than anybody, in my opinion, is make the right play and find the open man. And that's why Faku had, I think, 15 points in that fourth quarter, because as they put two defenders on Nicola and we moved the ball, the ball found the open man and we made them pay. Uh, when he's being guarded in single coverage or when we get into the bonus early, we have to play through him to get to the foul line and to allow him to score and finish against one-on-one -on -one coverage. So uh, it's, it's definitely a balance, but I trust Nicola to make the right reads. And like I said earlier, it's just tough with two guys in your lap to, you know, to be able to go and score efficiently all the time. All right, coach, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Matt Moore. Yeah, I'll, I'll vouch for the last six years that your emotions, uh, not Thank you, Matt. Appreciate that. Back you up there. Uh, last four, uh, last five games, you're fourth in defensive rating. Um, the pace tonight kind of doesn't show how good your defense was tonight, where you held into a 102.8 offensive rating. Um, what's been the kind of difference in the defense over these last couple of games? Is it Shaq Harrison and Austin, what they've brought is a better team right. like an effort because you're shorthanded. What's, what's been the difference? Yeah, a great point. I think it's probably a combination, Matt. Um, we have four really good defensive guards, right? And that, that's not a knock on anybody, but Facundo Campazzo, PJ Dozier, Austin Rivers, and Shaq Harrison all can really guard. And you've heard me say many times, your defense starts on the ball. Um, I think there's a heightened awareness. And we have 10 games to go now. Uh, we were 10 of 32 tonight from three. We're generating some really good looks. We're struggling to make shots. So when you are struggling to make shots from the perimeter and maybe struggling to score at times, your defense has to be playing at a high level and uh, to weather that storm and to get stops and to run off of your defense. We scored 23 points off their turnovers tonight. Uh, we had 14 steals. So I, I think, yes, give those four guards credit, but I think Aaron Gordon did a hell of a job guarding and Paul Millsap guarding a guy like Zion tonight. I thought Michael Porter did a pretty good job on Brandon Ingram once again. He's an all-star talent. Uh, so a, a combination of all the, the, the things that you mentioned, and that's what we're going to need going into the postseason. You know, I mean, 10 games to go. Hopefully that defense continues to play at a high level and some of our guys can settle down on offense and just see that ball go through the net. I know Austin Rivers is a much better shooter than he shot in a Denver Nuggets uniform. He's just got to kind of calm down, see one go through. Then I think he'll be able to start making that shot more consistently for us. And, you know, Faku got it going tonight from three. Michael Porter did. And, um, you know, but defense is always going to start – every conversation for us, so. All right, that'll do it. Thank you. All right, appreciate it. Thank you.